Uh, for Mickey Mouse audition, by the way, how many? W- w- how, did you go in and say like two lines? And that no, was it? no, 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 no. That was so. I, I, I think I, I'm not sure if I mentioned this, but I, you know, I passed on it at first. Right, right. Yeah, you yeah, said that. And, yeah, yeah. But, but th- it was. Um, we went to the old animation building, and I had to revoice the entire Brave Little Taylor. So it was all the original, original score and original voices, other than you know me going in and doing waltz. Ah, oh, yes, Your Honor, and how. I was all alone. I heard them coming. I looked up. They were here, there, everywhere. A whole bunch of them. Yeah, I had to redo the whole thing. And then they anim- wow. they, they revoiced that old animation. It's one of the most exhilarating things I've ever done. Holy shit. You've yeah. got to do some cool fucking things. Yeah, I, I am. I, am, I got a horseshoe up my I mean, you portrayed Robin Williams behind the camera, which I have to see now. And like, how hard is that to portray? I mean, he's so physical. So- and- when, so nuanced, so all over the place. I remember my manager at the time called and said, so there's this, and he's like, look, these movies are sort of these salacious, you know, behind the scenes of Three's Company or Charlie's Angels or whatever it is. He's like, they're doing a Mork and Mindy one. It's like a low budget thing. They're going to shoot it in Vancouver in like 12, 13 days, or whatever it is, but they need a Robin Williams and they can't find it. And, and I remember saying, and my wife is usually the one to sort of remind me why I do what I do. I was like, eh. I was like, I love Robin Williams. I, I adore him, but I'm not Robin. I don't look anything like the guy. I don't sound anything like him. And she said, okay, well, who would you cast? I was like, I don't know, like Jim Carrey or whatever. I, 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 would, I wouldn't. I, she said, who would you cast? She said, Jim Carrey's not going to do a, a $500,000 movie. Who would you cast? I said, I don't know. She goes, well, if you don't know, then you should audition for it. And, and, and I went on a deep dive. I, 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 you know, looked at all the inside the actor studio stuff and I looked at all his old stand up, and there was some, some stand up tapes that my brother had, my older brother that were way too old for me that I remember watching some of his stuff in San Francisco. And, uh, and, and I, I realized that, man, I was a huge Robin Williams fan. I mean, I, I, I was really, really engaged in what he did uh, from stand up to all of his movies. And I remember when Goodwill Hunting came out, I had that on a loop on in my VHS. I watched it over and over and over and over again. Right. So I guess a lot sort of, uh, sort of by osmosis, uh, sort of impacted how I, I, I was able to sort of recreate that. And I realized when I was able to find his voice and how he sort of held himself and how he, how he talked and, and, and sort of, there was kind of a, a quiet element to him and, and how he, he really didn't, he really didn't want the attention, but well, he would take it. I mean, joke me if you can't take a fuck. And there was this, this sort of. <laughs> Jesus, um, this, so good. 